students today we are going to study how a body sinks or floats in water to understand this we do an experiment in the first speaker we drop an object and see what is happening similarly observe the second beaker in the same manner there is a third body which has been dropped in water see the change in the first one on dropping the object it is sinking the body is sinking it goes into the bottom of the container in the second beaker you will see the object is completely under water surface and in the third situation the body is floating with some part of it below the surface and some part of the body is above the water surface that means there are three different situations which has been indicated in the first one body is sinking second one the body is floating under water under the surface of water and in the third one the body is floating partially inside water surface and partially above the water surface we can explain flotation on the basis of principle of flotation when a body is immersed in a liquid the following two forces act on it number 1 the weight w of the body acting vertically downwards through the center of gravity g of the body this force has a tendency to sink the body two the upthrust fp of the liquid acting vertically upwards through the center of buoyancy b that is to say the center of gravity of the displaced liquid the upthrust is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced this force has a tendency to make the body float this can be explained on the basis of the diagram the weight w of the body when it is immersed in water or in a liquid will be acting from center of gravity g of the body and it will be acting in the downward direction on the other side the upthrust or the buoyant force will be acting from the center of buoyancy b which is the center of gravity of the displaced liquid it will be acting in the upward direction that means i can say the upthrust will be acting from point b in the upward direction depending on the weight of the body and the upthrust applied by the liquid we have three different cases now here you have to remember that f dash b is the maximum upthrust when the body is completely immersed in a liquid or water case 1 when the weight of the body is greater than the buoyant force in this case the body will sink and the apparent weight of the body that means the weight of the body inside the liquid will be weight minus upthrust w minus f dash b and it will be acting vertically downwards and that's the basic reason why the body sinks in liquid this will be a situation when the density of the body is more than the density of the liquid in which the body has been immersed 
for case 1 whenever you will be drawing the diagram please remember because the weight is more so you will be drawing bigger arrow in the downward direction and because the upthrust is lesser you will be drawing lesser arrow in the upward direction. I have drawn it with two different colors. You can do the same. And because the body is sinking, we have shown the body at the bottom of the container. As in the experiment also, in the first stage you saw, the body was sinking. Case 2. When the weight of the body W is equal to the upthrust applied by the liquid. In this case, the body will float under the surface of liquid under the surface of liquid as shown in the second diagram second example what we showed in this case the apparent weight of the body will be zero because the weight of the body as well as the upthrust both are equal so weight minus fb is equal to zero therefore apparent weight of the body will be zero and the body will be floating under the surface of the liquid this will be a situation when the density of the solid and density of the liquid both are equal. In the second diagram, please remember that the arrow what you are showing for the weight acting in the downward direction and the arrow what you are showing for the upthrust applied by the liquid make them both equal. So as to indicate the weight as well as the upthrust is equal. Now coming on to case 3. When the weight of the body is less than the upthrust applied by the liquid. In this case, the body floats partially above and partially below the surface of the liquid. Only that much portion of the body gets submerged by which the weight of displaced liquid becomes equal to the weight of the body. And in this case, when you will be drawing the diagram, again make sure because the upthrust is more, so you are drawing bigger arrow to show the upthrust applied by the liquid. And weight of the body is lesser, so show lesser arrow to represent the weight of the body is lesser. The difference between the two, if you calculate, you will be finding your answer will be coming in negative, meaning W minus FB will be in negative. And we don't have the weight of the body anytime in negative. So, in this situation also, the apparent weight of the body will be zero. Based on this, we focus on law of flotation, which is one of the very, very important law. And according to the law of flotation, the weight of a floating body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by its submerged part which means W is equal to FB and the apparent weight of a floating body will always be 0.